The e-bike is a heavy, ungainly beast, giant battery stuffed in the down tube, wires hanging everywhere. Or is it? One look at the Bianchi Aria e-road and this convention is turned on its head. Here at Peloton, we're not very interested in the hand wringing and soul searching that usually accompanies any drop bar e-road bike discussion. They are here and here to stay. We're more interested in learning what bikes like the Bianchi Aria e-road can actually do. It looks like a traditional carbon road bike and that's for two reasons. First, it's based on the standard Aria road bike, the Italian brand's entry level aero race bike. And it does an exceptional job of retaining those beautiful lines. This is because of the second reason, the e-bike motion X35 system. Bianchi uses the X35 to deliver power to the Aria platform. The battery is in the slim down tube, it charges at the bottom bracket, is controlled from a button flush with the top tube, and the motor is hub based, tucking it between the cassette and the brake rotor. It helps the Aria e-road retain classic lines, and it leaves the bottom bracket entirely alone, so the bike feels more like a traditional road bike at the pedals. The Aria E-Road delivers up to 250 watts with three settings, eco, medium, and full gas. We found battery life to be impressive. Over a 54 mile ride with 2,500 feet of climbing and extravagant battery use, it wasn't until mile 52 that we reached flashing red with battery below 15% and reduced assistance. That range can even be tripled with two water bottle mounted batteries. The Aria E-Road is a class one system delivering assistance only up to 20 miles per hour. The bike can offer 250 watts at maximum, but that's only during starts and accelerations. In full gas mode, you can expect sustained assistance of about 150 watts. In eco mode or the lowest assist setting, sustained help is in the 50 watt range. The weight penalty is surprisingly low. The X35 system adds just over seven pounds to the bike for an overall weight of 26.6 pounds. With extra power on tap, the added weight is meaningless. And on the flats, the Aria E-Road spins along like a traditional bike even without assistance. But across rollers at more than 20 miles per hour with no assistance is not where the bike is intended to shine. Where this additional weight caused less issue than we anticipated was handling. With just a bit more coaxing to hit the apex, a good bike handler can stick with almost any traditional road bike on a technical descent. The ability of the Bianchi Aria E-Road to help riders with a bit less fitness or riders for whom age has become a limiting factor get back out on the road and enjoy the rides they used to is phenomenal. The fear that drop bar e-bikes are going to somehow demolish the club ride or ruin big group events is unfounded. They help a less fit rider hang with the group on the climb and would help a moderately fit rider get to the top first. But the Aria E-Road is not all about speed and performance. The Aria E-Road is about getting outside and enjoying the ride. For all the doubters out there, two facts make E-Road bikes easy to live with. No one will ever make you buy one and getting buzzed by a rider on an e-bike is a lot nicer than getting buzzed by someone texting in a Prius. More people on bikes, yes, even e-bikes is a good thing.